guys, this is Tina. Welcome back to my channel. So today I thought what we'd do for our mass making is um, some corner tuck spots. Now I do mine probably um, a little bit <laughs> basic I guess would be the term I would use. Um, but I thought we'd also try some other um, things that uh, I've never tried before. So basically I have just bought along a whole bunch of papers here. These are thicker papers. So these are between 160 and 200 GSM for any of my printed papers. Um, so some are, you know, quite thick. This is, oops, this one is 200 GSM, but it's really quite sturdy. This is 200 GSM also, but it's kind of got a thinner texture, but you know, ideally you want something a bit thicker. And I've also brought along some um, regular copy paper as well, which has been coffee dyed. Uh, just to try some of those Rita Don Donnelly flips, which I have never done before. Um, I know they've been done like forever, but for some reason I have never done them. So um, yeah, I thought we'll have a go at some of those. So I'm just going to lift this up slightly because I've been trying to get my camera a little bit better because I know that sometimes I'm slightly out of frame and obviously I'm still not quite used to my new camera setup. So hopefully this will be good enough. So if we just start with just some regular corner tucks. Now I like my things torn. I know that's not everybody's cup of tea, but you know, I do quite like torn papers. So all that I would do is, I mean, these are some that I've got left over from something else. So they're sort of smaller, obviously. All that I personally would do for a corner tuck spot is literally tear it down, you know, to however, big or small I want it that's it so then obviously I would then be able to use this one for some you know some more or for another one perhaps I should say and all I would do is just tidy it up so it's a little bit of a better shape like that Oops. like that <clears throat> And then what you could do to make them slightly more interesting is just layer them up. So for instance here, if I just cut this section here, you could then just literally layer it up. So as you've got a double corner like that. And then you've got a pocket there and a pocket there. And it just makes it a little bit more interesting, really. So, you know, absolutely, you know, really does not come any simpler than that. It's, yeah, I mean, you know me. I don't do anything that's difficult or complicated. So that's literally as, as easy as it gets. Okay, and then all I would do is just literally glue this one down onto here and obviously you want to go you know butt it up against the edges really and that's it I mean how much simpler could it possibly get so this one obviously would be a corner pocket so for instance if this were your journal page it would be stuck in the corner like that so you'd have your two pockets and of course you can make them for the bottom as well. So let me just let me just sit on this one just so as to make sure it's nicely glued. So I'm just fidgeting around on my chair. Okay. So this one, for instance, we can have as a bottom corner. And again, what I'll do is just take some more decorative paper. And again, I'm just going to tear a little corner like that and just place it over there. And I mean, obviously, you can have these however you like. So you could do them out of like doubled up book page. You could do them out of doubled up sheet music. And I mean, I'm only saying doubled up because obviously it would be quite thin otherwise. 
so you know it's up to you if you don't want to double them up I mean I personally would be very inclined to tear them then if they weren't doubled up but you know if you are confident that you're not going to tear them like I would I mean actually to be fair I prefer that really that way up because those flowers just seem like they're upside down that way up but you know you know I'm sure you get the uh, get the picture of what I'm trying to show you there so I'm just going to I'm just going to place them all under my leg and be sat on a huge pile of them by the end of this video so <laughs> just fidgeting around to get them placed under my leg right and of course you can do them the other way so if we do here oops on very strange shape with that one but never mind it doesn't matter and these work wonderfully with scrapbook papers as well so I mean don't feel that you know you have to use printables or anything like that you can use plain papers just as just as well so just take this and put that one over there so you can have the plane on top of the patterned. Okay. I mean, I know that lots of people cut theirs so they would be straight. I mean, I quite like the torn edges, um, but of course, if you prefer yours straight across, then go for it. You know, that's that's fine too. So again, I'm just going to sit on that. And then I'm just having a look to see whether I've got some sheet music here. Oh, and would you believe that I don't appear to have? I'm sure I've got some somewhere. Hold on. Okay, got some here. <clears throat> so, for instance, if I took this piece here, in fact, let me take a bigger piece. And again, I just tear that down like that. And then I will just glue that to the sheet music. Yeah, I'll do it on that side. So I'll just move that up, hopefully staying in frame. And I just glue that to there. And obviously, because this is now doubled up, you know, you might prefer not to have a double pocket, if you see what I mean. So you might prefer not to have another pocket on top of this because it might make it a bit too thick. So I'm just going to pop it on there. Again, just spread it out with my, my card. So it's, you know, nicely flattened down there. And then just going to tear across the edge and of course you know you can then tidy it up in a moment so let me just it's not that easy with a big piece of paper especially trying to then stay in frame which of course of course I was like failing miserably at so I'm just going to cut around this because then it will be a bit easier to handle so I just chop that down like that and then you can obviously get in and tear it across now obviously again you know this is very soggy because I have just that second glued it and to be honest it would probably be a bit easier to handle if it was dry but you know okay so there's obviously a sheet music piece and yeah I mean obviously this is quite thick now so you might decide not to use another sheet because a patterned sheet over it you know might make it a bit too bulky but again, completely up to you. So if I just bring in something else, I'm just seeing what scraps I've got laying around. I mean, I actually bought along full size sheets of paper, which in hindsight, really, I should have bought along, you know, thinner scraps, really. Um, yeah, that was a bit silly, but... So 
sometimes you just <laughs> grab things don't you and then before you know it you're you're doing it and it's like oh I should have done that in a different way let me get some um pieces that are slightly smaller or at least not printed back to back because that seems very wasteful hold on okay so I've brought along some other pieces and I've got quite a few tiny scraps here that we can use so oops. well I say that then I'll stuck in the little packet so hold on so these are just scrapbook papers that again I've had in my stash for like a really long time that one's a printable again oh, oh no not that one not that one because it's already folded into another shape hold on Sorry, I'm just literally rummaging through my little packet of scraps here. Seeing what, what I've got. Okay, so that's those. And I also bought along some of this buff coloured card. And it's not that. Um, and I also bought along just some, you know, that I've rough printed. Because again, like the sheet music, we can always back this to make it a thicker piece. So we should have enough to keep us going for, you know, a good 40 minutes, hopefully. So uh, let's, let's get cracking. And I've also brought along this one, which although is double-sided, as you can see, it was when I was having some printer problems. So, you know, it's effectively a bit of a waste of, of paper anyway. So yeah, okie dokie. So we've got our sheet music piece here. So again, we can just literally have a little tiny tuck spot just over there. So like that, and then we'll just tear that one down. I mean, how cute does that look? So we just then, oops glue that one on like that okay so again I will just sit on that one as well so uh, I'm just putting them all under my leg so that they're just you know getting really nicely stuck down so that's another one there then I have got this paper here from my Blue Baroque kit. So again, we just tear down, tear it across. And I think this would be quite nice just with a coffee dyed paper or actually even with this buff coloured paper. Well, card really. So I'm going to just cut this down here along that line and then if I place that sort of roughly where it's going to be, maybe there, in fact what I will do is actually glue this on so as I know roughly where to tear down the other layer so just just glue that down like that and then we'll just cut around that like that and then you can just tear that in going along beneath it like that so really nice aren't they you know just I mean like the world's easiest the world's easiest tuck spot really but, <laughs> but sometimes you know easy is good well always I think easy is good to be honest so um, I've also got some scrapbook paper here which again we can just decide which way round we want it. Do I want it with that one? 
And you could have it with that. And you could have it with this one. I mean, bearing in mind, obviously, once it's inked up, it's going to look different to this. So if I take this one and we'll just do... Just glue that on. Like that. And then again, we can obviously then follow the line to tear the second layer. Like that. Okay, so again, I'm just going to sit on that. Oops. Okay, I've got this side as well, which I do really like. I'm not sure. I mean, I guess I could put it with that because to be fair, by the time that, you know, they're inked up, they would perhaps look quite okay together. So I'm going to do this as a corner, you know, a, um, down you know, bottom, bottom corner. So we'll just tear across there. Oops, like that. And then what we could do, we just glue that one on like that. I mean they're just quite fun because you know obviously they're quite a good way to use up scraps and it's quite nice the mix that you can get by placing the different papers together so and obviously you know you can just do these as a single you don't need to double them up at all and that's fine I quite often do them as a single myself um, but just for something a bit different I thought these would be a nice one to do on the mass making so just going to like that and just cut that there. And then I'll just pop that one under my leg. There we go. Honestly, anyone joining them for the first time will be like, oh my goodness, what is that woman doing? She's just like putting them under her leg all the time. <laughs> so I'm just going to now obviously use up couple of bits of this paper and then it's you know this is gone this is scrap so again just cut that in I'm just going to tear that corner out out like that otherwise it was quite long at the bottom if you see what I mean and just get rid of that then the rest of my coffee dyed pieces. Here we go. No. They're the wrong shape now. No, I have to go for another piece. Hold on. So again, just pop that one on there. Okay, so probably I can just be quiet now about what we're doing because, as we say, it's hardly, hardly rocket science, is it? So, um, yeah, I'll be quiet now. But So I hope that everybody's having a nice day. I hope that you are doing some crafting. Obviously, there's um, not a lot going on in my part of the world still. You're still, you know, being told to stay home. So that's what we're doing. We are just staying home. The school Easter holidays ended yesterday. So we're back on the homeschooling today. Uh oh. So, yes. It'll be my shift after this video. I haven't really got a plan at the moment, but it might involve baking a cake. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I mean, that's all, that's all good, isn't it? Because obviously you're 
you're learning about the weights and the measures and you know all that kind of stuff aren't you so I don't know what else really to um to do we've done like learning the time and well, I mean, we could go back over that, to be fair, because we haven't really done an awful lot during that couple of weeks holiday, which I have to say whizzed by, so unfortunately. Right. I mean, we could mix that with that. How pretty does that look? It's a lovely day today. We have been so lucky with the weather since this lockdown. You know, on the whole, it's just been lovely every day. I think there's been one one rainy day so far, which was either Friday or Saturday. I can't actually even remember which. But you know, aside from that, oh gosh, now I've, now I've really mucked this up. I've, uh, torn right beside it now. Look. Oh well. How not to do it? Well, perhaps I'll start again. Let me just take that off. Let me do it up this way instead. Um, yeah, it was either Friday or Saturday, but it was the first rainy day. So, um, you know, we have been very lucky because obviously, you know, the staying in is um, quite trying enough, isn't it? Without, without literally having to stay in the home the entire time. So, um, you know, the sun shining is definitely a blessing. And obviously some of the world's returning to normal. Well, I say normal. Trying, trying to return to some form of normality. I mean, I obviously watching the news, you know, it seems like lots of countries are kind of opening back up in a semi form, you know, not necessarily completely, but I think they're kind of doing it in stages so they're like opening certain businesses and things like that I think the advice is the last thing to open is going to be like restaurants and cafes and things um, from what I can tell by watching the news so yeah we'll have to kind of see what happens going forward I mean I just pray that it will all be all be fine because um, it's certainly been very scary, hasn't it? I've got this lovely blue here from this scrapbook paper from Bow Bunny. Again, I've coffee dyed this. Had this in my stash for years and years because I just thought it was so lovely. But to be fair, I will probably not be likely to use this in its current form now. So um, I'm just going to just tear a corner from here. And I think I will just layer it with this one. That one or that side? Yes, probably this side. Yeah, it's hard to know what, um, you know, what life is going to be like going forward because, I mean, obviously so many things will have changed, I, I am guessing, you know, I don't know, but it seems when you hear things you know like so much will have changed you know there will be lots of businesses i'm sure um no longer able to continue um which again is just heartbreaking you know for the people who've obviously put their heart and soul into starting their business and obviously for any of their employees who now you know have lost their jobs and things so that's obviously tragedy you know a tragedy um in itself because you, you know to, to survive one thing and then be faced with another is just awful um, yeah I mean well you just can't really begin to imagine how how anything's going to pan out to be honest oh, look at the weird shape of that one so time will tell, I guess, how things are going to be. I mean, all we can do is just hope that actually it's the end of, you know, the end of the virus and um, that we're not going to have what they keep referring to as that second wave, which just 
again sounds so terrifying doesn't it so um yeah we'll have to all just hope that our efforts of staying in and what have you have paid off well on an update of the whole staying in <laughs> i thought i was going to have like the world's tidiest house you know at the end of this i mean i know we're not at the end you know in the uk we're we're not reopening and things but Yep, I can't picture anything significant changing in the next few weeks because um, <laughs> nobody seems that motivated to be clearing the house up. We had a mad motivation at the beginning and it pretty soon wore off. Um, we kind of started clearing the garden at first, so that was great. And I thought, oh, we're going to have, you know, an amazing garden now. Well, that's pretty much gone out the window now, so... Um, Yep, the garden's kind of come to a standstill and actually worse than come to a standstill because then the house, um, it's painted in places. It's, it's not painted, but there's parts that are painted. So, you know, the boys, well, my older son, really, he wanted to get on painting the house. So um, he started that. He's still doing it, you know, to be fair to him, he is still doing it. It's not like he's gone off and, you know, no longer doing it. He is still doing it. Um, but so now that garden that had transformed and become a little bit tidier is now messy as anything again, because of course now all the paint and things, you know, and the ladder and everything else is all now back into the garden. Not that, not that it was in the garden in the first place, but you know, is now in the garden where it wasn't in the garden even first. So, yeah, it's um, it's not really taking shape as I thought it might. And of course, my husband and I are still working, so you know, we're not really having an awful lot more time than any other time. I mean, in fact, and please don't think that I'm complaining here because. Of course, you know, my gosh, aren't we lucky that we can work from home? Um, but I mean, also, you know, if anything, we've got kind of less time because obviously now we've got the kids at home. So whereas normally I could, you know, have my whole day kind of thing while the kids are at school, I'm now down to half a day. So yeah, where I thought my house was going to be like this amazing, tidy, you know, haven is... I mean, actually, if anything, getting kind of messier because, to be fair, <laughs> certainly in my case, I'm stopping and starting constantly, so I'm not really kind of finishing an awful lot. It's all just stop, start, stop, start. So, yeah, I can't claim to have made any inroads on tidying the house. It's actually probably worse than it was. Well, in places. I mean, some, some parts are a little bit better, but on the whole... I would say it's been a big, a big flop. Nothing really has quite transformed how I'd hoped. So, yep, that's just how it is. There we go. I mean, I do keep hearing people saying, you know, like um, our neighbour we went out for our daily exercise you know and he was out doing his front garden and he said oh running out of jobs you know aren't aren't you running out of jobs you know he said my windows have never been so clean oh i had to laugh and say oh ours feels like it's never been messier but <laughs> i mean he's never been in our house so uh, he's probably picturing it really really bad but you know it is what it is, isn't it? So, and hey, there's worse things. Worse things happening at the moment than having a bit of a messy house. So, okie dokie. Okay, another one. So I might just try and finish this sheet of paper off because um, with this maybe, because then you know, it's an entire sheet then gone, which would be good. So if I just trim this one down here. <clears throat> I haven't got a clue how long I've been filming for because I've had to stop the video so far a couple of times. 
I've now completely lost track. Yeah, so went for a bike ride yesterday. I think that was like the first time I had actually been out the house for a week. Well, nearly a week actually, not quite a week, but yeah, I hadn't been out the house since last Monday, so it was quite a long time. And in the end, I just think, you know, I have to get out because um, I just think otherwise it might become a problem, you know, in that going out becomes a problem in itself. So, yeah, I mean, it makes me sound like a, a strange person, I realise, but, you know, sometimes then that anxiety of actually going out then would become a problem. So I am still forcing myself to go out from time to time. I mean, I'm, you know, I'm quite a home body to be honest and you know I don't mind being at home um I mean obviously the kids are pretty bored pretty bored yeah so my daughter came with us on the bike ride my eldest son went out for a bike ride on his own um and my middle son didn't go out so yeah but my daughter she's got one of those tag along bike things so she was like being tagged along on my husband's. <laughs> Every time I saw her, she wasn't pedalling. And um, because obviously I couldn't really see her a lot of the time because obviously she was behind him. Um, but when I did see her, she wasn't pedalling. And I would say, you know, oh, come on, your legs aren't going round. And she would say, you know, oh, my legs are really aching. My husband was like, what? She's not pedalling. So, yeah, I'm not quite sure how much pedalling she was really doing, to be fair. But we were out for about 35 minutes. So, um, you know, that probably is quite a long time for her little legs, to be fair. <clears throat> I mean, not that it was a strenuous bike ride or going fast or anything like that. You know, I've said before, I'm just a fair weather cyclist I certainly don't you know don't um you know I'm not like a fast cyclist or anything like that so I mean it yeah although it was probably quite far for her or you know quite a big cycle ride for her it wasn't like it was hard you know it was all pretty flat and um pretty flat and it was a nice hot day so it wasn't like really windy or anything but yeah, when we got home, I said to her, oh, did you like the bike ride? And she said, no, not much. I said, oh, didn't you? She said, no, and my whole body's aching now. <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> I think she's looking forward to going back to school just so she's not dragged out on bike rides or anything like that. Right, so this one, I just have to kind of go along like that a bit because obviously that edge was in slightly. So you can probably see there, but you know, that's fine. And once it's on a page and decorated, that being slightly a strange shape, you know, that won't really even kind of be noticeable. It will just be, it will just be fine. Right, so I'm just going to sit on that one so let me move this out of the way. Now, the other one that I thought we could try was one of those Rita Donnelly flips. And I've never done one of those. And um, I happened to see uh, Shell from um, Shell at the Rambling Crafter. Um, she's on my design team. And I happened to see her do one the other day. And she just did it in a way that I had never really seen before. So I'm not sure whether this is her take on it or whether this was how they you know originated and they've evolved but she folded hers over like that so she had a you know a small sheet of just copy paper and she folded it over I'm just going to trim mine well actually I'm not going to trim it down yet I'll do that afterwards and then she just folded this piece over here 
and obviously that piece over there. And then if I just trim that down at the bottom, And that enabled her to have obviously two. So if I just bring this page in, it's not a page, but you know, just to demonstrate, she then has two because she then glued it here and here. That's one side and she's got then this, you know, flap up. And then on the other side, she did the same thing again. So I just thought that was so clever. I don't know whether it's just me, but I had only ever really seen them as a one, if you see what I mean before, I think. But to be fair, you know, I might be completely wrong about that. But I just thought the way she showed it was so dead simple that I thought I'm going to try a couple of those as well. So again, I've got some more of the copy paper. I'm just going to cut it down here. I mean, that other piece that I had was probably a little bit on the big side, to be honest. And then I might just cut it down here like that now it's horribly not straight I can see that already but so again just folding it in half oops folding it in half and the person who does these all the time is um Yvonne Preston she does these all the time in her journals so and they always look so pretty So I will try and remember to link Shell's channel. Uh, well, actually, she should be linked already because she's on my design team. So, yeah, I don't need to worry. She is linked anyway. Um, and, yeah, then you can just fold this back like that. And then fold the other one like that. And I just thought, wow, that's so awesome and yeah I don't know whether I had just not really seen them being made before I felt like I had but you know maybe I maybe I hadn't anyway I just really love them I know last catch on or what but just trim that down a bit at the bottom okay i just do another one with this. This piece is slightly torn from the coffee dyeing process, so um, it's not not ideal really, but I'll just fold it like that. And then I can just try and ensure that I glue that piece down onto the page, you know, when I come to use it. So again, just fold that piece down there like that and then I'm just going to trim it down because you can probably see from my tatty my tatty cutting has made that very very not straight there we go and then I'm just going to do one more let me just check what the time is right 28 minutes and as I say I've lost track of the other um, minutes that I'd done when I'd stopped the video so I'll just pull these out from under my leg we'll just do this final one so again as you can see it's slightly torn there from the coffee dyeing so I'm just going to fold that in again now this one I'm going to just trim that down slightly and here at the bottom just because it was, oops, a little bit on the tatty side. Okay. Let's just get rid of those scraps and then go over with that one. Which, annoyingly, this one is now going to go right through where it's torn, which is a shame, isn't it? Okay, it's better if I do it like that. So down there and then down on that, oops, on that side. 
I know, I'm just making these look really awful. <laughs> yep. Honestly, they're, they're better than they look. <laughs> right, so again, and I can just neaten that up down the bottom. So, really cool. And, you know, as I say, they would just go onto a page like that. Which, how brilliant. So, let's just do a little bit of decorating. Um, and I will decorate, you know, one of these and I think one of these as well, just to demonstrate, um, you know, the difference um, between them. I think that one. So this one obviously is a top one. So I'm going to start by just inking up everywhere. And I mean, once you ink them, obviously it just ties everything together so much better, doesn't it? You know, before it might look a little bit, you know, stark, the contrast between the two papers. But once you ink it up, it just transforms it, I think. So um, it's it's a good way to bring it together in a, you know, proper cohesive way, I suppose. Let me just have a look and see what I've got laying around on the desk that I can use to decorate. So... Right, what have I got? I've got these flowers, which are quite nice, aren't they? And I've got one of these. Well, we could Let me just cut this on the edge. I'll just ink this up. I mean, obviously it is black, but I'll just ink it up anyway. these flowers not really sure that that's the right thing there hold on what else have I got got this building it's a bit big sorry I'm just <laughs> grabbing at little pieces that I've got laying about here from where I've been doing other videos, you know, I might just happen to have things laying about still. So, um, hold on, let's just see. It's so annoying, isn't it, when you've got everything but the one thing that might be just right on there. I've got this. Oh, actually, I've got these little birds. Again, this is on that glossy photo paper, which I know that I've said a few times, but... I had ordered this by mistake. I thought it was the matte and um, yeah, it was the gloss. So obviously because the um, delays are, uh, the deliveries are all delayed and things like that, I thought, well, I'll just keep it and use it. But yeah, I probably wouldn't really order it again, to be honest. At first I thought, oh, I really like it and perhaps I would be converted. But yeah, I'm not really convinced because can you see it's, kind of staying quite white looking it's not inking up the same as I would normally like it to look if you see what I mean so then I had ordered you know what I had intended to order in the first place which was the matte finish um so matte finish photo paper which again I will add this all to my Amazon you know links on my website and uh yeah that arrived like on Friday, I think it was. Wow, the printing quality of that is just fantastic. So I really, really was thrilled with it. However, I did do some coffee dyeing yesterday in the garden. Again, thought I would make the most of the sunny weather. So I coffee dyed loads more stuff. And what happened was my pieces went really yellow. They look more like they're turmeric stained than coffee stained. Now, I don't know, I have to be truthful, I don't know whether that's due to the paper or due to the coffee. Because during the coffee dyeing, I ran out of coffee and my son, who I think I've mentioned before, had been really kind and bought us all a coffee machine. Now, I'm not really a coffee drinker, so, you know, I obviously haven't really used it, but it's obviously works with that ground coffee. So he said, oh, that's all right, mum, you can use some of my coffee. I did say, well, no, I normally use, you know, really cheap. But he said, oh, you know, go on, you can. 
So obviously, rather than be, you know, having to just stop my coffee dyeing in the middle of it, I just used a little bit of his. So it could have been the coffee because I have never used ground coffee before. Could have been that or it could have been the paper. I'm not actually too sure. Coffee or, or the paper. Yeah, I'm not sure. But it was really annoying because obviously I did a whole batch of it and um, you know, I went from being so thrilled with how the print quality looked to them being like, oh, that doesn't look very good. You know, because the colour was quite yellow. So, um, yeah, a bit of a waste of time and paper. It's fine. I will be able to use it. In fact, I've already started a project with some of it. So, um, you know, it is fine. But it was just annoying. And what's more annoying, I'm still not sure whether it was the printing you know the uh the paper or whether it was the coffee so yeah if you've got any knowledge of how that sort of ground coffee is whether that does have a bit of a yellow effect you know i'd love to hear because i'm just not sure and i i hope it's the coffee because I really did love the printing quality on the paper. So yeah, just let me know if you've got any any experience of printing with uh, of coffee dyeing with the what do you call it the ah oh, what am I trying to say the filter type coffee you know. Okay, so I'm just going to leave this lace white because actually I think that looks really pretty. So these roses, um, they're from some new printables that are in my shop, which are called Glue Book Favourites. Got three different sets, and they're all quite big things, big um, items, and I did them for a little, sort of not series really, but a few videos that I've got coming up. And I made them really for those, and then I've obviously put them in my shop. These, I think might be printed full size um, but I also have found them really good to print them two to a page and four to a page and so that way you can obviously you know get them sort of smaller but I mean I quite like the whole big you know big chunky things I think it looks really striking and makes a nice change to use really big impactful things to be honest so um yeah, I'm really enjoying them. Oops. And these roses, especially, they're in set two, the Glee Book Favourites set two. I have used them so much. You know, already I've found myself using them so much. I mean, I only put them in my shop yesterday. Uh, today, sorry. Today, which to you guys watching, it's yesterday. Um, but, I mean, obviously I made them a couple of weeks ago for my project and I like to try and use things a little bit before I put them in the shop so um, yeah I've already used them tons I really really love them so that's our little corner tuck so if I just show you that's how that would look on a page and then obviously you could just tuck in your journaling card which can I find anything suitable so you could have a tuck spot here and then your other tuck would be up there so you've got two tuck spots and you just obviously apply your glue there so gorgeous isn't it really really pretty so that's that one and then let's do let's decorate one of these Rita Donnelly flips now obviously these are copy pa copy paper um, I'm going to do that tatty one with the the torn edges I think yeah so I'm going to do that with the torn edges so these are with copy paper. So, I mean, I don't that often use copy paper for um, pockets and tucks and what have you. So I just need to be a bit mindful that whatever I use, it needs to be, you know, slightly maybe on the thinner side rather than really thick paper. So again, I'm just having a look to see if I've got anything that's actually on more copy paper rather than thicker paper because, um, you know it might not really like it if I put something really thick on there 
So again, let me just quickly have a bit of a rummage on my desk. <clears throat> I mean, I have got these stickers, to be honest, you know, from my labels, uh, which we could. Let's just try one of those. Let's put that. Hmm. I was just thinking we'll put it onto some paper rather than on there because if I put it on there that's going to pick up the doily so let's just put it onto a bit of paper is that going to fit on there? Mm, just, just about so okay. I'm sure I said that these are better on plain paper before Oh well, never mind. Right, so I'm just going to cut that one out. Oops, come on. Right, I've had to cut a little bit off of that typewriter because it was overhanging and... Uh, yeah, so I've had to just cut it off, but that's fine. Okay. Okie dokie. So I'll just ink that up a little bit. Mm, a little bit big for that, that pocket, but... Does it matter? Doesn't matter really, does it? Can we just have it like that? So if I just pop this doily down like that, I think. Still got no three in one or you know fabric tack, so I'm still using the glue stick when I'm gluing down doilies. I'm not converted to it. But um, you know that's what I'm that's what I'm using at the moment for the doilies. So that's that one. And then just take my typewriter. Oops. Oh. Just get that bit of glue off there, please. Okay. that down there like that so I mean obviously you can see that that typewriter part is overhanging that pocket as is the doily so I might snip those parts off um, yeah I'm gonna have to because when that's flat you see and you flick it up for journaling they're going to just bend round so I'm just going to snip them off Like that. Okay, well they're really nice, aren't they? So I'll just ink that up a bit. And then on the other side, we can have something else. So perhaps we'll do... I mean, again, I'm just going to use these stickers because they're quite... Um, you know they're good for using on here because they're nice and thin so they're not bulking out the uh, copy paper so I'll just cut this one round and I might just have this one direct to the paper rather than onto book page so I'll just cut around there oh, I don't think that was very good cutting but never mind Again, it's got that circular thing going on, so of course that makes the cutting really difficult, but I'll just pick that up a bit. So if we have that there. Oops. Like that. And I'm just going to 
to ink around here a bit. Okay, and then should we have a little bit of lace or something on here? Again, this might be a little bit heavy, this particular lace, which is a shame because actually I really love that white against the coffee dye. Um, but I've got some ivory lace here, so that might be better. Just because the thickness is better on this one. Um, you know, the actual thickness of the lace, not, not how wide the lace is, but the, you know what I mean. <laughs> the other ones are sort of crocheted lace, so it's going to be a little bit heavy on that piece of paper. So, pop that here, I think. So I'm just going to glue that down with my wet glue. Like that. Now, I'd quite like to have a word or something. Again, I just need to see if I've got anything on thin enough paper, really. Um, which, of course, I'm not going to have, am I? Just because life not you know doesn't really work out that convenient does it Let's have a look oh, no i don't think i have got anything thin enough that's annoying well what i might do is just have a butterfly on well he's completely the wrong color isn't he right i've just knocked something off my desk now oh gosh right let's just see oh he's completely the wrong color don't want him on there. I did cut out um, a whole bunch of butterflies actually so let me just grab grab a butterfly because although that's still not printed on copy paper oh no I must have not brought them up oh perhaps I did yeah perhaps I did okay yep so I'll just use that one I think Oh, this butterfly is a bit misshapen because um, I actually cut this with my scan and cut and I haven't used that a great deal, I have to be truthful, but can you see it's then cut that butterfly a bit of a strange shape because it obviously went into the, the groove bits. But it's fine, I thought he still looked quite nice. He still resembles a butterfly of sorts. So that's that one and of course you could put some stamping around there. Should we just quickly do that? So I'm just going to do it with the toffee crunch so it's not too overpowering, I think. And I'm just going to do some script. Like that. Okay. I'll do a little bit down there as well. There we go. Oops. Okay, so finally I have done one of those Rita Donnelly flips, which that's just a first for me oh look at what I've done <laughs> I did that the wrong way but that's fine I can just put it under the page instead obviously it was supposed to go like that and I have now glued my pieces on the wrong way so do you know what I will just have it like that instead glued from underneath honestly what an idiot <laughs> right okay so the final one that we'll do, we said that we would do, um, you know, one of the bottom ones. So again, let me just see which one, whoops, which one is a good one to use as a bottom tuck. Well, perhaps we'll use this one because this one we said about the colour not really going very well. Um, so this will hopefully help convince you guys that it will look all right, you know, once it's decorated. So just again ink all of that up so straight away it's blending in now a little bit better so it you know straight away looks better okay 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 what's that nope 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 right i have got this cluster here which we could use, but 
she's a little bit on the big side unfortunately let me just ink her up hold on <clears throat> Again, that green of that background page, that's from the Glue Book Favourites too as well. Um, I just absolutely love that colour green. It's just my type of colour. Well, we could have it this way up, I guess. So let me just tear that round. Maybe like that. Just have a look. don't know if that's quite the right thing really. I'm probably forcing it to go on there if you know what I mean. So it's probably better to just go for something else isn't it rather than try and force a fit where it's you know not naturally wanting to go. Well that's quite nice on there actually. Okay let's just have a look see see what bits we've got that I can just put with this one. Mm. just trying to use things that are literally you know instantly here rather than have to go off getting other bits and pieces so I mean, we could just have a little bit of sheet music I guess coming in you know poking out behind there it's getting really hot up here now And then I've got that blue butterfly. Mm. What do you guys think? How's that looking? I'll just again see what else I've got. Nope. Nope, not that. Mm, what's this? Uh huh. words here yeah it's obviously going to be a really hot day because um, I'm up here obviously with the door closed so you can't hear you know anyone in the house and um, obviously the lights are on because I'm filming and oh my gosh it's suddenly boiling up here so yeah really really hot better without that. I wonder if we could have another flower or something. No, not that one. What other flowers have I got here? Got some more of those roses and there's some that are sort of in deeper pinks as well. Yeah, do you see what I mean? They just, ah, they're really nice aren't they? They just look really good everywhere. And there's also these flowers, which are quite nice. So let me just ink up these. See whether we could have these on here somewhere. So if we make the actual feature, you know, the word, and then surround it with the florals, I'm thinking. What do we think? Or perhaps that side. And then, of course, we'd have a bit of lace going up the bottom. Right, let me just glue these things down because um, it's always a bit easier once they're glued down. Okay. <clears throat> Not sure that I've put that up the right way. I have a funny feeling that's upside down sheet music but in mind it will be sort of covered up look like that and if we have that there and we could just have that 
we like that or would we prefer just another rose I don't want to be really boring you know <laughs> I want to be a bit more adventurous but sometimes you know you've got to just be boring haven't you because adventurous doesn't necessarily go okay let's just go for that so be boring just put that there Okie dokie, and then have our butterfly here, oops, here I think. Like that. And then we just want a bit of lace on. Do we want that or do we want ivory lace? Let's just pull in the ivory. Oh, the ivory. The ivory. I'm just tearing that. Okay, so I'm just going to glue that on. I don't think I'm even going to go right the way across. I'm just going to do it from here. And I'll just do that with the hot glue. It's just nice and quick then. Like that. Oh, I didn't, look, I didn't stick that rose on. Didn't realise that. Hadn't even realised that that one wasn't glued on. Okay, so let's cut that one down. And then the last thing, of course, is a little bit of bling on there. And look, there's some just there in the lid. Okay. Right, let me stand up. Gorgeous. So if I bring in, you know, a fake, fake journal page. So that's how that one would look. So again, oops, sorry, I've got hot glue stuck all over me again. That just seems like the story of my life, doesn't it? So again, you'd glue it down, obviously, on those two sides. You'd have your pocket there, pocket here. So that's that one. This is your Rita Donnelly one that I did, did wrong. So I would now glue that there and there on both sides. So it would be, you know, slotted over the page at the bottom like that. And then this is the top loading one, which again, you've got pocket here and your pocket there. So I hope that you like them. How many did we do? We've done one, two, three, whoops, and then four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. So that was going some, wasn't it, today? I mean, I probably turn the camera off and see that actually when I join the videos all together, we've been filming for like two hours, but I don't think it's been that long. Um, anyway, so I hope that you managed to get some done. I hope that you liked them. Um, let me know below what, what's your favourite, which one that you like the best. Um, and yeah, I hope you'll join me next time for some more mask making and um, hopefully see you again soon. Thanks then. Bye.